Hey, I'm Danny Helen. I'm with Maverick Agriculture, and even though we can't be in the field today, I'm going to be going over the work preparation before flight, or in other words, a pre-flight checklist for our Agrass T40. So the first thing that you want to make sure is when you're going out to the field is that you have an open and clear area for your aircraft to land and take off with. You want to make sure that it's flat and that it's not on any road or will be going over people when having to take off and land to get to its starting point. The next thing you want to do is you also want to check your terrain and your obstacles in your field that you will be flying. For example, windmills, power line poles, trees, and anything else that could be an obstruction for the T-40, you want to make sure that you pre-map out to make less work for the sensors to pick up. So now that we picked a safe place to land and take off our T-40, and you checked your surroundings of the field, we'll move on to the controller. The T-40 controller, to firstly turn it on, is a short press and a long hold. So the first thing you want to check on the remote controller for the T-40 is your battery level. Your battery level indicator shows here on the bottom with the green lights. This red light indicates that we are not yet connected to our drone. The next thing you want to do is properly unfold your antennas. So by doing so, they pull, fold out, and you don't want the antennas pointing directly at the drone because the signal will be the weakest. So you can either do a 45 to a 90, 90 degree angle. Next thing you want to do is check your stick mode. So where, where you'll find that is you go under your RC settings on, and then click into stick mode, and then it'll show here what mode is selected Make sure that you have the selected mode that you're most comfortable with, and if it's not, change it accordingly. The next thing you want to do is that when you're flying the Agrass T40, you do need to be connected to a Wi-Fi signal. So to do that, you will want to, almost like an iPhone where you swipe out of your apps, you'll swipe uh, from bottom to up to leave the DJI Agrass app and then go into the settings on the controller itself. The one right on the top will be your network and internet usage and then you can click Wi-Fi and then it'll show you your available Wi-Fi networks and then you can choose which one is yours, enter your password if required, and then you'll be connected to the internet. So before the installation of the battery, you want to make sure that you take out each arm and make sure that they're locked into place. Then you want to make sure that you can unfold the propellers with little to no resistance and you can wiggle them to make sure that nothing is loose. While doing that, make sure that you also check each propeller to make sure that there's no cracks, chips, or that they're not thin enough where it could cut your finger. If so, please replace accordingly. So next, before you put your battery in the T40, you want to check the distribution board and make sure that it's clean and doesn't have any green, black, or brown eroding on there. If there is, either replace accordingly or clean with uh, some alcohol and a cotton swab. So when you put the battery in the drone, you want to make sure that you push down all the way until you hear the click for the locking mechanism. So the first thing you want to make sure is that the battery has a good enough charge, uh, or hopefully just 100% charged. And to check that, you just do a quick short press on the battery and make sure that all four slots light up green. So then to turn on the battery, you do a short click followed by a long press until they light up green, and then your drone will make a beeping noise. So once you connect your drone to your remote controller, it'll show the status up here, and you want to make sure that this is turned green, which ours will be red because we are inside, so it connect, connect to the GPS signal. So just one more tip that I wanted to include that you should also be thinking about every now and then is that these sensors should be wiped off every once in a while because if they get too much dust or dirt on them, they could affect the sensing capability of the drone. And now that you've checked everything and we've come up with no errors, you're ready to take off. So that concludes our preparation work before flight. Again, I'm Danny with Maverick Egg, and make sure you like and subscribe.